Let's discover and explore reports in Business Central 2025 Release Wave 1. In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways you can do that with the new experience in the Report Explorer, um, directly from our documentation in Microsoft Learn, or from the Report Help on the Request page. So let's dive into Business Central and look at Report Explorer. You can get to the Report Explorer in a number of ways. For instance, if you open Tell Me Search, you find a link here to exploring reports. So that's the first way. The second way is to use the symbol here for opening the Role Explorer. And then from here, explore more roles. And here under Reports and Analysis, that is the shortcut to the Report Explorer. And the final option, if I just go back to the Role Center here, is uh, simply to use the link on top of all role centers, all reports. This also takes you directly to the Report Explorer. Let me start by collapsing all the different roles. What you see here on the screen are different what we call departmental role centers. These are meant to be showcasing functionality for different roles in an organization. And if I just pick one of them, Finance, and explore this, this opens up Whoa, lots of reports. Let's collapse all of them and just see. So this opens up the, the Report Explorer or the Road Explorer with different topics. So we can see Power BI, receivables, and so on. And if we then choose the ellipses here and expand all of these, this is your overview of all the reporting capabilities that exist within finance. As a new thing here in Wave 1, we, uh, if you hover over a link here, you either get one of these little information icons or let's just pick one of the other ones, or you might get one of these uh, open in a new window. Let me just show the icon first, the information. If I choose this, um, I can now see, first of all, what the full caption or the title of the report is but I can also read more about what this report is. So I can actually, without even opening the report, I can read more about what this report is about. And uh, you notice that the same icon that you saw on, on the other report, open a new uh, window here, appears on this little uh, information pop-up. So let's uh, try to explore this report further. And um, a new thing here in in the Business Central as in, in Wave 1 is that this opens up in a new window, which means the actual Explorer here keeps being open, and therefore you can explore multiple reports from that page. Now, this is um, this is the just one way I can then preview this report or whatever I like. When I'm done with this exploration, I can close the window and I'm back to the Report Explorer. And as I mentioned, if there's no information icon, uh, there will always be this open a new window. The difference, like why would this have one and this one would not, that's just a matter of whether there's a teaching tip defined on the object here compared to this one. So this if fixed asset posting group net change uh, report does not have such uh, a text defined, whereas the fixed asset register report does have it. So that was the first way of exploring reports. The second way is directly in the Business Central documentation on Microsoft Learn. Uh, the, the easiest way I find the report documentation is through an AKA link. Let me show you what that is about. Business Central documentation have many of these AKA links. They are called AKA links because they all start with aka.ms forward slash something typically BC and then something. And for the for the, this link, BC Analytics, if I choose this, it will open up the overview of everything in Analytics in Business Central. And here in the table of content, I can choose built-in reports and choose the first link, Report Overview. And this article gives a complete overview, almost complete overview of the reports that I exist in Business Central. These are ordered by the 
the, the functional area. So if you're interested in, say, sales reports, you can choose that. And that gives you um, this table with, first of all, scenario. So an analytic scenario of, of the first report, what you can use it for. Uh, the second link here is a link directly to Business Central. So you can open the report directly in Business Central from documentation. If you use this little tip of control plus select, when you, when you select the link, it will open up in a new window. So you still keep the exploration page here open. And finally, each of these come with an article that describe um, the usage of this particular report. So for instance, it, it's, there's some description about what the report shows. And then there are use cases described for different personas that could be where this report could be of interest. And then finally, down here, there's a try the report link. If I use this link, I will just go back to Business Central. I will again use this control key plus select to open this in a new window, and this will then open the request page for the customer top 10 list Excel um, in a new window. Let's just have a look. And now um, I can try the report here. The third option of discovering report content, let's just go back to the report explorer and, uh, and open a report from there. And let's choose the fixed asset book value one report again. Now I just open it directly from the Report Explorer and I get the request page. If you, for many of these reports, if you choose the title here or caption, it will open up uh, something called a teaching tip. This also works even if you have turned off teaching tip by default, you can still get to the teaching tip by clicking that uh, link. If you want to dive further, and you don't have to do this, but you could also just open the help pane and the same text will appear over here if that text had been defined on the object, on the report. And finally, there is a way here directly from the help pane to go back to the Business Central documentation for the giving report. And if I then choose this link, I now get the documentation for the fixed asset book value report again with use case and description and so on. So that's how, how the exploration and discoverability of reports come hand in hand, both in the Business Central Role Explorer, in the request page, in the help pane, and in the documentation in Microsoft Learn.